How's it going guys? Michael Shamblum here with another Photoshop tutorial. I've been asked a lot, how do you get uh, that sort of glowy look in a lot of your images? Um, that sort of glowy feel makes the image feel a little surreal. Well, there's one thing which is doing long exposures for the water that tends to add sort of a surreal look to the image. But the main way I get that glowiness is using something called the Orton effect. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. It's super easy uh, and we'll just do a quick step by step and I'll show you guys how to apply that sort of glowy look to your images. So the first thing you're going to want to do, just go ahead and make a new layer. I will call this Orton. Orton. Okay, cool. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And depending on your image size, I think this was shot with the uh, Canon 6D, so that's going to be 18 megapixels. But uh, the blur radius, you'll want to change that based on what megapixel camera you're using. So you'll probably want more blur if you're using like a 35 megapixel camera. You're going to want a little less if you're using something small like the A7S, which I believe is only 12 megapixel. But, um, you know, anywhere between, I'd say... 10 to 30 for the radius. So, yeah, I'm just going to go to around 20, 19, 20. I'm going to click OK. Perfect. OK. So now what you're going to want to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. Go ahead and pull that contrast up pretty high. And then pull in just a touch of the brightness. Click OK. And then from here, all you're going to want to do is go to the opacity and I like to use anywhere from 10 to about 20 but 20 might be a little much but as you can see if you zoom in here you get that really glowiness to the image uh, you know it starts bleeding out a lot of the colors a lot of the tones bleeds in some of the tones into the highlights and it looks really nice or it, it sort of bleeds out a lot of the highlights but I'm going to go to 15. Now, another thing you're going to want to do here is if you are finding that you're losing too much detail, you want the image to be a little sharper, what you can do here is go ahead, copy that background layer. Uh, let's just name this sharp. Okay. And I'm going to go up to other high pass. Select a radius, a pretty, uh, small radius, maybe four will work. Click OK. And bring that above the Orton. And now just go to blend mode and soft light. And that's going to bring in some of that sharpness. And sometimes you're going to want to change the opacity here. Um, even with the Orton effect, if you find that the Orton effect is too strong, you can change the opacity. But basically, what that did is it brought in a little bit more of the sharpness that we had before. So now we're able to bleed the colors and also retain the sharpness of our image. And uh, yeah, there's a million different ways of doing the Orton effect. Um, I've seen so many different techniques online. This is just what I've used for most of my images. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it works for your images as well. Please comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.